about the stage combat nap. I've got five different naps for you. and I'm gonna break down each one. So let's get into it. What's up, warriors? I hope you're all safe and well. As always, thank you for watching our channel. If you're enjoying the content, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and even share. We are wanting to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this month, and we're 30 away, so we really need your help. And if you could, we'd really appreciate it. So, the nap or napping is a technique used in performance to simulate the sound of violent contact. There are many different types of naps, but in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the body, the cage, the clap, the shed, and the vocal nap. The body nap. It is performed by slapping your hand against any body part, normally one of the major muscle groups. The most common are the chest nap, just below the collarbone and just above the pectoral, the thigh nap to the outside of the upper thigh, and the back nap. There are also many more, including the abdominals, the glutes, the inside of the thigh, and even the upper arm. But I recommend starting with the chest, the thigh, and the back, because as soon as you've got these ones, the rest will become simple and easy to learn. The trick to these naps is to cup the hand like so, to create a deep, loud sound. The cage nap. Cage nap is a slap made when the foot of one combatant connects with their partner's hands, which are crossed over each other and cupped like so. Make sure your fingers and thumbs are tucked together and placed on top of each other. This and this cannot be used, as when your partner kicks your hands, it's likely to bend your fingers back and break them. So remember, like this. The clap nap. The clap nap is another common nap, performed by clapping your hands together like so. We can make a number of different sounds with a clap. Palm to palm tends to create the most loud and resonant sound. A traveling clap nap is when one hand is held vertically just below the chin and the other hand in a slapping motion makes contact along the way. Or you have the tapping clap nap when your fingers connect to the palm like this. These all create different sounds and can be used for many combat moves, depending on your circumstances and the angle of your audience. The vocal nap. Ow! This nap is vocalized by the receiver at the point of contact to indicate the landed blow. This is less common and is only used when the performer cannot use any of the other nap techniques. And this could be down to costume or staging. It's important to know that timing is what makes this nap technique work. The sound must be made at the precise moment of contact. The shared nap. A shared nap can either be a clap or a body nap. The only difference is that both performers make the sound together. A high five is a perfect example of this. So there you go, that's it guys. That's five nap techniques that I recommend that you guys learn. We're gonna have another video coming out soon teaching you everything that there is to know about the nap but that's all in the future. So for now, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon.